Hello. Hi. It feels weird that we have the light on. Yeah, do you want me to go turn it off? Yeah, could you? I didn't mean to be bossy, but I mean, I think you would have complained if I left you here talking on your own, so yeah. here I am. Oh, true, that's the light off now. Well, not, that, not that it makes any difference to you guys it's listening. Just, it just felt really bright in here, it was weird. Um, so, what's the crack? We're back for another podcast. Yeah. We're, we're keeping up the, the two-week cycle. Yeah, pl- plenty of stuff has happened. Has it really? Well, I mean, sort of. We did a triathlon. It went. Yeah, it went pretty good. I had a guide so. kayak instead of a guide swimmer, and it was the best thing that ever happened to me. I'll be honest, I'm quite annoyed that you got a guide kayak. It sounds, like, really cool. I mean, I didn't swim any better than I normally did, but <laughs> I had fewer people to apologise to. I mean, I had a guide, like, for the swim, and, like, I got my face in the water, and I realised that that's not always a good thing. Because it meant I couldn't see, I couldn't see Laura, my guide, and she couldn't see me because she had her face in the water, and we just kept punching each other in the face, yeah. and like swimming into each other. It was not it, ideal. It wasn't nice. Yeah. And then I was sort of like, yeah, I'll keep a good stretch in the, like tether, and that didn't work either. <sighs> I think mm. I might just learn to swim really fast with my head out of the water. Yeah. I mean, I swam the whole way with my head under the water, and I was only out, out of about the water. You mean out, yeah. out of the water? Yeah, yeah. sorry. And uh, I was only out of the water about a minute behind you. Yeah, with my guide kayak. To be fair, that's why I got some really bad stitch halfway round, and I blame it on the fact that I had a wee chocolate bar before, like an hour before we started. Wee, wee breakaway <laughs> yeah. sponsor. Um, but yeah, no, I my uh, guide for the bike and the run. Um, I had sort of got desperate, and I was like, I just need someone for the bike, please. Um. And yeah, she was like, oh yeah, I'll do the run with you too. Sure, if you want, why not? I was like, cool. To be honest, then, I I don't think I could have done the run by myself because I probably would have freaked out. There was a big, like, long stretch of road. Yeah. And I probably would have freaked out at that point, just being like, I've definitely gone the wrong way here. Oh no, well, we we had people all around us, so oh, okay. we were okay. But um, my guy didn't want to do the swim. She was like, I get a little bit panicky in the water, and I was like, huh, see <laughs> But uh, I was like, no, okay, like, you, I'm not going to force you to do that because I would hate it if someone was like... Yeah, you actually, to can swim. you swim too? <laughs> and then the guys that were organising the race were like, so we can get this kayaker to stay with you. And I was like, mate, ideal. Best bud. Uh, I can't remember his name. He did tell me his name. And then as I was, get, like, as I was getting into the water, he told me his name and I told me, him my name. And then as I was getting out of the water, I was like, I forgot your name, but thank you. <laughs> You've been great. <laughs> Stick to yours. Yeah, I'm a mess whenever I'm swimming, so. I like broke my leg during the run. And I was devastated because the run's always my favourite part. Mm-hmm. And I just couldn't run. Oh. I was literally limping the whole way around. And I was like, this is awful. Because I told Laura, my guide, that I was like, the run Good was runner. my best yeah. part. And then I got like 1k in and I was like, I'm just going to have to walk it. <laughs> At least you didn't, you didn't stop. You were just like, I'm just going to have to walk. I was walking for a bit and then I was like, honestly, I think running might be easier. It's sore. It's like sore running, but it's no sore than walking. Yeah. If it helps, I got really bad shin splints. The worst shin splints I think I've ever got. It's awful. Uh, I did get a sports massage after the race, though, which was glorious. I got one on my shoulders, my back, and... I I suppose I should specify, I got it on my legs. My shoulders were sore for about four days afterwards, but now they feel top-notch. Fantastic. But a week later, it's finally... My legs just like... Uh, But the the annoying thing was, she was doing my legs and it was great, but she was sitting chatting away to me, and like... You get wee knots in your legs and they're quite sore whenever you get that. Then over she like dug her, na- dug her like thumb in and I was sitting chatting away and she was sort of like, so how did you find the race? And I was like, yeah, it was really good. It was pretty tough in times. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, all in all, it was great. <laughs> and she was like, I'm really sorry. And I was like, no, it's great. Cr- cool. It's great. Cr- that was me. That was me. <laughs> whenever she was doing my shoulders, she was like, um, I didn't think sorry. I was that squirmy. I was like, yeah, I'll be pretty chill. I'll just relax into it. It'll be really nice. Now I'll tried, squirm. I tried <laughs> really hard to relax into it. She was like digging her thumbs and I was like, I asked the spot there. And she was like, yeah, I, I tend to find the painful spots. And I was like, oh, you do? <laughs> <laughs> I nearly kicked I swear. I, I think I nearly kicked her at one point because my <laughs> leg just went into spasm. Like it was beautiful. But just my other leg just went. Uh, she was like, sorry. And I was like, no, keep going. It's good. <laughs> Highly recommend sports massages, guys. We're not selling it well, but no, I mean you feel fantastic afterwards. But just if they start talking to you, it gets a bit weird. Yeah, 
have have a friend and have the friend talk to them and just listen to the conversation. Yeah. <laughs> um, maybe have something to bite down on. Yeah. Just chewy, sweet. Then you might spit on it, spit it out, or swallow, swallow it, or, swallow or choke on it. Um, just get strapped down. <laughs> But yeah, we've also entered a half marathon because running might be our thing. <laughs> yeah. I think geathlons might be more suited to me because they don't have swimming in them. But I've, I've sort of told myself I'm going to keep doing triathlons until I get my head in the water for a swim. So I'll probably be doing them for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what else has happened? We're aunties. We're aunties. Our brother over in England had, had a baby boy. Bee-bee. Well, his wife had a baby. A baby boy. Baby boy. He's adorable. And doesn't look like a potato at all. <laughs> I think you explain a, that. I think a lot of babies look like potatoes because they're just like chubby and... I mean, they're cute, but they're just little chubby chub chubs. And they just, I think that they don't really look like potatoes. I mean, let's be honest, potatoes and babies do not look at all similar, but they they just look like, they all kind of look the same. Yeah. But. Like, some babies you kind of look at and you're just like, oh, so cute. And then there's other ones and you're like, oh, so cute. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to say it and you just have to go through the, pa- like me going, yeah, it's really good. <laughs> It's so cute. <laughs> oh, look at his wee face. It's a girl. Look at her wee face. <laughs> Aren't you a wee doot? Yeah. I'm so good at pretending to like babies. <laughs> oh, cause she just had a wee poo. Cute. <laughs> Should I go back to mummy? <laughs> I say cute too much around babies. I'm like, oh, cute. Aw. Oh. Oh, yes. Cute. <laughs> I never know what to say. Do you say congratulations? But like, you know, you just pooped out a baby. <laughs> I don't want to think about that. Just... Your baby is real cute. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> Big fan of your work. <laughs> like, I think the last time you think about how the baby came to be yeah, there, yeah. the better. It's just, don't think about it. <laughs> it's just a small child. It's a cute wee thing. Yeah. Bundle of joy. Bundle of joy. <laughs> Where did we get the bundle poop? of joy? You know what I was reading, right? It's a Reddit thread and it's a really old Reddit thread, right? And it's this guy and he went to his girlfriend's house and he pretended not to know what a potato was. <laughs> <laughs> and he thought, yeah, this will break the ice. It'll be real funny. It caused a whole family feud. <laughs> Why? Hi. Why? They just started arguing. <laughs> like, how can you not know what a potato is? Oh, why were you raised? And he was just like, I was, I was, I was, you know those times whenever you try to joke and it just doesn't go well and yeah. you just, it starts an argument and you literally just have to be there. I was joking, guys, guys, joke, guys, stop. I was, I was, I was jo- put just, the knife down, dear Dre. For joking. For the tape, Chloe is <laughs> flailing her arms and looking quite panicked. Yeah, we've been pretty into Line of Duty, that's why. We've we finished Series 4, but Series 5 isn't available anywhere. So if you're listening and you know where you can get it, or you know the people who are in charge of BBC iPlayer or Netflix, get, get, them, them. To, get them to throw Series 5 up there. Yeah. Cheers. I mean, my ultimate aim is to be on Line of Duty. Are you still wearing a ring? I am still wearing a ring, yeah. I thought that was your left hand. I was like, something you're not telling me. Hmm? I'm wearing a ring. I wore a ring to church today to look a wee bit fancy. I normally do, but I'm today I was wearing. just like, I'm wearing hair bubbles, they look like bracelets. I noticed that you wore a ring to church last Sunday, and I was like, I woke up this morning, I was like, I'm going to wear a ring today. <laughs> just to beat me? Yeah. Okay, fair. Wore a necklace too. I don't I don't have that many, I think I have two necklaces. I wore my wee Marks and Sparks one that was like a tenor, along with a bracelet. Nice. nice. But um, I need to get more necklaces, because I feel like um, they would hide my neck a little bit. Hide your neck. <laughs> I'm not self-conscious about my neck, but just, you know, necklace. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah, seri- uh, Line of Duty is a good series. We also started watching The Bodyguard, but... Um, it has a bit okay. too much hanky-panky in it for me in yeah. episode two. I, just, I think they were like, right, that's episode one out of the way. We can 
We can do whatever we want, though. Dial it up a wee bit yeah. on the romantic that's, side. That's the pilot done. Um, but, I mean, it's all right. Yeah, the storyline's good. What is the story? He's just protecting her, and then they're trying to kill him, and... I don't really know, but... I mean, I'll give it a go again. But I want Line of Duty Series 5. Yeah, I, yeah. Want, I want to be in Line of Duty, to Same. be honest. I think it's filmed in Belfast. You've got Ted Hastings, who's Northern Irish. And he follows procedure to the letter of the law. Do to the, the letter. letter. <laughs> I reckon I could, I could, I could be his pal. We could, could have the banter. I could pick up his accent. <laughs> you could pick it up or big it up. Big it up. Big it up. Just to make it I reckon, broader. Or... Yeah. <laughs> I reckon if we had another couple, of, another couple of Northern Irish people, that sentence got away from me there. He would just be, no, we'd be like. I think I would either the word, not unintelligible. Un. It, I know the words you mean. You can't understand them. Yeah. Um. Oh, we can't just leave it blank while we think. What's the word? I don't know. I don't. Um. You'd be. Not. In, it's un, not incoher- incom- incom- incomprehensible. incomprehensible. Nailed it. <sighs> Nailed it. Guys, we'll be. That's incom- such a good feeling. <laughs> we'll be incomprehensible. It's like an itch. That yeah. You can, yeah. But we'll be incomprehensible. You think because we'll be talking just to Northern Irishy. Yeah, I think we would just end up getting too fast. Like even. Speaking on the podcast with you, I have to constantly remind myself to slow down a little bit. And speak more clearly. Yeah. I don't always do that, but I mean... We if, try. We try. I'm sorry if you don't understand parts. If there's a casting director out there for Line of Duty, I I know that we do a lot of funny videos, but I am very capable of being serious and I can cry if you need me to. I can be sad, I can be angry, I can be happy, I can be drunk, I can be high. I can also be all those things, just for the record. Anything you can do, I can do better. Rude. I can also... I was going to say I can also dance, but that's a complete lie. I can't. We can country dance. Yeah, we, we can, can bar dance. We can line dance. Um, and I'm also good at um, remembering things. Is this just our wee CV plug here? Yeah, yeah. This is us. <laughs> Hire us. <laughs> applying for job. Take this seriously, Chloe. Okay, sorry. Yeah. I am serious. I'd also like to be in Doctor Who because... Oh, that would be cool. I'm Even... a huge fan of the show and I really feel that I could bring a lot to the show. I said really monotone, but I'm just... It's because I'm thinking. Maybe this is why I can't get a job. You okay? No. Oh, just... It's just real sad. That was me showing that I can be dramatic <gasps> you and can I can act. act. <laughs> <laughs> You're so good. Um, speaking about acting, you get awards for acting. You know what? Speaking about awards. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the best segues I've ever heard. Hire me for the one show, guys. I'm good at I'm good at segues. Oh, imagine you working with Matt Baker. Oh, I love Matt he Baker. He could write you your first fan mail. Just like you wrote him a fan I mail. I think it was maybe Simon Thomas that I wrote my first Blue Peter fan mail to. And then you just felt sorry for Matt? Yeah. Well, then he Matt would have to write me a fan mail and then write you one because he feels sorry for you. <laughs> oh, Matt Baker's great. He is. He's a farmer too. Like, yeah. He's married though. You could be best pals. I'll we'll just be best pals. Maybe if he does, he have a does he have a son, <laughs> a cousin or something. <laughs> Get him with the family. Anyway, right. I was talking about awards. <laughs> the RNIB are doing the See Differently Awards, and nominations are now open. Could you please vote for us or nominate us um, for the social media influencers? Because. We might be visually impaired, but we do fun things online and do podcasts and triathlons. And basically, we're just like, you know what? We might have a visual impairment, but just... What's I'm, that mean? I'm doing whatever I want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so basically, we think... Um, should we do a wee speech now of um, why we think we deserve this award? Yeah. Not even that. I don't think we've properly sort of like just like talked about our eyesight and sort of what it limits us of about <laughs> I think it limits my English ability, ability I just made a fart noise oh that's fantastic <laughs> that we're gonna get all the votes now 
to the bit of our noise skit twins when <laughs> I can do one for 15 seconds if you want me to but I'll only do that if we win <laughs> okay that can be your speech but also <laughs> yes okay right if we win and I have to make a speech I will go up and I will make a 15 second no, we'll just let the listeners slash viewers <laughs> let the fans decide what we have to say like three key phrases that we have to get into our speech but one has to be a 15 second fart noise please <laughs> <laughs> I think, maybe not 15 seconds I don't think I could hold my breath for that long maybe s- I'm going to say 7 seconds I think I could do 7 I'll seconds I'll time it okay <laughs> but yeah <laughs> we might have a visual there's something cr- tickling me it's teddy bear it's okay <laughs> <laughs> I thought there was something crawling up my leg oh no right just, I was trying to be serious <clears> you <throat> just farted in the middle of it right it was a fart noise a fart noise with my sorry. hand with your hand the back of your hand I don't your fart mouth. I spray perfume. <laughs> Chanel number five. <laughs> it's a good perfume. No, I'm not even joking. That Charlie Red stuff. It's only three pound in like Savers or like your local cheap pharmacy store place, but it's class. I like it. Um. Anyway, you should vote for. You should nominate us for the RNIBC Differently Awards because we have a visual impairment, but we don't let anything stand in our way. And you were gonna say something, but then you farted. Made a fart um, noise. I was just going to say that um, we can't drive and stuff, but we still make the effort to go places. Yeah. Like, people say, oh, you can't do that because of your eyesight. And we're just like... I'm going to show you well, that, yes, I can. Yeah. Well, you say, just watch us or, ah, oh, sure, we'll give it a go anyway. Yeah. That's pretty much my outlook in life. If someone's like, oh, I don't know if you'd be able to do that. I'd be like, mm, yeah, no, I'm going to try it anyway. But then there's other times and it's like, hey, do you want to play ping pong? And I'm like, mm, I don't, I don't like running after these really small bouncy objects. Well, especially ping pong balls. They just go, they can go anywhere. And I just, I don't really fancy that. So, I mean, there are times whenever I'm like, I know my limits. Yeah. But also, I mean. Like, I mean, we didn't, we didn't just decide we're never going to do ping pong. We have tried ping pong. And, and I'm horrendously bad at it. It's like someone who's really bad at running who hates, like, or someone who's really bad at swimming who's just really splashy. And it's like, hey, do you want to come swimming? They're going to be like, mm, I'm going to give that a miss. Yeah. Like, I'm just, ping pong's not a thing. And also tennis, because, I mean, that ball may be fluorescent, but I mean, so's the sun. <laughs> Speaking of the sun, I am great at segues today. Here's your first bit of life advice. Or not life advice, but like life hack. The torch on your phone's broken. Just take a picture of the sun and save it for later. (laughs) (laughs) That's a really good idea. It is. Because the light from the sun, well... No, but you don't have to look at it. Just... But what... Well, true. But then how do you take the picture if you're not... You put it in the direction of the sun. But how do you know if you're actually taking a picture of the sun? Because you'll be looking like through your phone and then you'll be able to see like the shadow of your phone on your face and then you'll know that it's facing the sun. But then how do you get that picture up without looking at it? Because if you look at the sun... But you'll see the baby picture of it. What do you mean the baby picture? Whenever you're scrolling through like No, but that's, that's still looking at the sun. You no, can't look at directly. Then that's okay. Look, tap at the one next to it and then swipe across one. Okay. Okay. Solid life advice. Okay. I accept your life advice. Thank you for that, Chloe. That was You're very welcome. I am full of all the life advice knowledge today. Do you have any other life advice or is that the only one you have? Um I feel like this could be a section. Um Virtual reality. It's really expensive, isn't it? Yep. If you can't afford it, just close your eyes and use your imagination because that's free. <laughs> <laughs> I like this life advice. This is this is good. Save my rest for last for last week. <laughs> <laughs> for next next week. Next week. Next I week. meant next week. Yeah. Guys, you might already know this about me. I really want to be an actress. Same. Like 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 really. I mean we were talking about it about five minutes ago. Do you remember we did our wee C V? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I just want to emphasize that I really want it. Thank you. <laughs> Me too. Thank you. 
But I have always promised that if I ever get an award for anything, I'm going to go up and just say, thank you very much, and then go sit down. But uh, obviously for the RNIB thing, if, if we get nominated and if... I don't even know, maybe you just get like a sent away certificate or something in the post. Um, But if I have no, to... No, the awards are in London in November. So I, I want a wee There's trip There's awards? London. Yeah. Do I have it to does say the RNIB see differently awards. <laughs> I know, but even then it could still be like in... In... I'm trying to think of a restaurant. In Fitzroy's... With some wee plastic trophies. Like, that's an awards thing. And do I have to wear a dress? Struggle. Yeah. I'll wear a nice dress with nice shoes if I have to go. Like, I will make an effort. But I'll also bring a long stick and some sunglasses. No, Judith, no! <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring a toy dog, though. Oh, yeah, bring toy dogs. And also... A... Uh, I was going to say stick, but I already covered that. There's this guy on Instagram and he cycled around the world. I like, love it. He cycled around, like, the, like you know the world. <laughs> <laughs> like the globe. Like the actual, like, earth. <laughs> like, he cycled, like, around it. Like, in real life. Flat earthers, go away. Yeah, but he's like, like, like he proved that the Earth isn't flat because he went around. Yeah, like he started and then he went, like he started in one place and finished in that place again. Yeah, but he like, didn't have to go back the same way. But how do we know he just didn't stay still the whole time? And just because let the Earth roll past him because he took Instagrams and videos and you could see that he was. Cycling along these roads. Well, maybe he was just pretending. But he might not have just been putting in the effort. He would just, it was like a bike on a treadmill. Chloe, go, you do it. Right, bye. But he he cycled around the, the world and I Did thought it? it was real. <laughs> Chloe, you don't have a bike. I don't have a bike, but I have a globe right next to me and I, I know, sat but on <laughs> But he did the actual real life full sized world. But what did he do? Technically, he didn't though. Why? He skipped the oceans. He could have got one of those pedalo bikes. Right. You can take that up with him on Instagram. I will. Okay. So his name's David Haywood. And I mean, I'd, yeah, go follow him. I mean, he, he's he's finished now. But, but he's put like on like his highlights bit. Yeah, he has all the countries he, he went to. And um, he's put up some nice photos. Yeah, they he's, are cool. He's a cool guy. Kind of makes me want to go travelling. Tell lot. him that we sent you. He's not going to know who we are. He's going to be like, who? And then Yeah, no, like, but how is he going to know who we are if people don't tell th tell him who we are? Fair. So tell him the Skit Twins sent you and if he's like, who's that? Then just be like, here's a link to their podcast. And then he'll listen to it and he'll be like, you yeah, know, actually, my name's pronounced David Highwood. <laughs> Haywood. <laughs> I'm nearly sure it is Haywood, but maybe not. And um, maybe he just did Europe. <laughs> he did. He did Africa. <laughs> <laughs> he did China too. <laughs> it's not Europe. I'm just, he's a great guy and Chloe doesn't believe that he did it because she's jealous. I, I do believe he did it, just I don't believe he did it properly because he skipped the oceans. Okay. Okay. Yeah, fair. Okay. He does triathlons too. He could have swum the ocean like. I mean, I don't, I don't know about him, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't have wanted to swim the ocean. I'd have run over the oceans if I could, but. You're not Jesus. No, I'm not. No. If he's a good friend of mine, but... <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing at that? <laughs> you said that so just nonchalant, just he's a good friend of mine. <laughs> Jesus, I mean, not David Haywood. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. I don't know, it's just... You just said it like it was Bob from next door. Just Bob's a good friend of mine. Jesus is a good friend of mine. We sing songs about what friend I have in Jesus. <laughs> He's a good pal. True. Good pal. Minister today said Jesus really weird. No, it wasn't Jesus. He said really weird. 
He said something about a battle, and all I could think was Hastings, like, like the, the battle. battle. <laughs> it's like, ah. Watch too much Line of Duty. We shouldn't have. We shouldn't have been. I wonder if his badge number ten sixty six. Oh, that would have been such a good detail. <laughs> he was born in nineteen sixty six. On the 10th of October. <laughs> I think in the next series, so series 5 is out, so the next series would be series 6. They should give him like a new squad car and it should be like, blah, 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 1066. And he should come out and just be like, are you kidding? <laughs> is that some sort of joke? <laughs> I like the but It's just like, maybe we could dial down the Ian Paisley just a bit. You consider yourself a better comedian, do you, do you fella? Definitely think they they called it they they used the word fella but I think they should have said well no we don't we discussed that that he calls it fella because it's kind of like condescending whereas if he said hi sir and that would sort of be like yeah we could if we were on it we could say hi sir because we're um younger younger I think <laughs> we are not rank one rank superior <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't be able to interview anyone <laughs> <laughs> but we could be like Arnett in the first series and just sort of be like ask them when they did it. <laughs> Ask them where they were. Why did he say that? Why did you say that? <laughs> and then they, but then they start taking the mick out of him because he's repeating everything that he says. But like, you're not allowed him to ask, ask the questions. <laughs> I mean, I suppose Hastings could have outright just been like, go and just answer the man's questions, right? <laughs> he's sitting right there. I'm just going to repeat them. <laughs> I would like or to. Or else just like, Steve's like, where were you? Yes where were they yesterday? Well. <laughs> <laughs> you heard him. <laughs> Answer the question. <laughs> I love to be on it and just be like, Alright, Mucker. <laughs> just I had a dream and I was on it and I had a wee puppy called Mucker. Mucker is a good name for a wee dog. It's a wee Alsatian puppy and I just called him Mucker. Was it he or she? Oh, it was a wee girl. Wee girl. Wee girl dog. <laughs> wee girl dog. <laughs> called Mucker. 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 Alright, Mucker. Ask my dog there. What accent is that there? <laughs> no, I'm just thinking that's like the Devon of Northern Ireland, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it is. I don't know. Number one in Donegal, they don't speak like that. Maybe I don't know, but I think that's yeah. That's sorry, Belfast. That accent, Belfast. That accent would be the Devon of the no. Devon. Because in Devon they talk like that. And they say, all right, muck, my mucker. <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry, people of Devon. <laughs> Might not even be Devon. You'll have people from like Cornwall or something going like, that's my accent. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> in my wee tractor. Tractor. Okay, right, there's a thing I want to mention, right? Judith's trying to set me up with Tom Holland. I am, yeah. Um, if anyone knows Tom Holland or any connections to Tom Holland. Uh, please, can you get in contact? Because I think Chloe and Tom would make an excellent couple. Slash, even just best pal. I mean, couple. yes, yes. Best pals with Tom Holland would be good, but I don't... So we're not going marriage yet? No. I need to get to know him first. Right, I'll cancel the church and the limo. <laughs> when did you have a book for? <laughs> Two years time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, these things take time, Chloe. If I'd, if I'd waited, like, you could have had to wait another four years. Let's be real. True. No, um, that would be weird, because... That would be incredibly weird. Yeah. Well, thanks for thinking of me, anyway. I was just going to get you a tractor. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'd like to be pals with Tom Holland, too. Um, just so I can be like, oh, hey, Tom Holland. And he'll be like, oh, hey, Judith. And then I'd be like, hey, Tom, did you know how to do a backflip? And he'd be like, okay. And then I'd be like, hey, Tom, how come if you're Spider-Man, you're not going around saving people? And he would be like, that's just a, f a movie that I'm in. And I'd be like, no, Tom, I know your real identity. <laughs> <laughs> so you have two secret identities. Huh? You're Tom Holland. And then you're Peter Parker. Oh no, Peter Parker. Peter, he's Tom Peter Parker Holland. <laughs> those are his. <laughs> those are his middle names. Um, so he's tip of. Tip of. Wait, what? His P H oh. makes an F sound. I get it. So his initial spell. Tip of. 
Hello, Tipuf. <laughs> Imagine if that's how we did. <laughs> we did things just walking around doing people's initials. Hello, Tipuf. <laughs> Hello, Clam. <laughs> Hello, Jerkum. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Jerkermuk. Jerkermuk. <laughs> no, but you said Jerkermuk. You said Jerkermuk. 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 <laughs> yeah, my initials slide weird. Sounds a bit like a train. Yeah, send us a brief video of you pronouncing your initials. Like a word. Like a word. To at skit underscore twins. That's S K I T underscore T W I N S. Underscore can also be called an underslash. If you're Chloe. If you're me. Yep. Still trying to make it a thing. Still trying. Like a year later. <laughs> yep. I mean, fair news for, you know, consistency. <laughs> I mean, there was one podcast where I forgot what it was and I was like, yeah, it's underscore. And you're like, no, that's the actual name. And I was like, no, underslash <laughs> is the actual name. <laughs> what are you on about? <laughs> you tried. <laughs> Just tried to confuse your brain. Get yep. a brain. Yep. So this, sponsor, this this podcast is sponsored by this sponsor is podcasts by this I'm just gonna leave now because I just messed up by this podcast is sponsored by Life Hacks from Chloe. Life Hacks from by Chloe. Probably not all that helpful to be honest. This podcast is also brought to you by pronouncing your initials like an actual word. Pronouncing your initials like an actual word. It should be a thing. This podcast is also sponsored by Ted Hastings. Ted Hastings, always doing his best to catch bent coppers. I'm really disappointed that you go, Ted Hastings, like the battle. <laughs> <laughs> I think I said that quite well, like him. <laughs> this podcast is also brought to you by something else that I haven't thought of yet. Um, beans. Guide Kayakers. <laughs> this podcast is also brought to you by Guide Kayakers. Top quality banter in the water. Keeping you focused on a straight line so you don't have to swim too far, but also being incredibly encouraging. And great liars. Guide <laughs> Kayakers. <laughs> <laughs> and, got, um, got any more sponsors? Finally, this podcast is brought to you by Sports. Sports. Good. <laughs> Fantastic. Do you want to do the Google game? Yes. Because I have some of those. I found some really good ones, actually. I'm quite proud I have two. My finger has swollen and my ring has left an ugly mark on my finger, so I have a pink ring now. Keep your ring on. It is on still. But it's, it's just a little tight. I tried to ring on the shop and it got stuck. And I was like, oh my, I can't get it off. And she was like, Judith, I don't know how much it is. You can't, you can't, <laughs> we can't buy, buy this. Buy I took it off. It was like 15 euros. So it was all right. We could have bought it, but I mean, I got it off. Chloe, your first two words are why do. It's stuck in my nickel. <laughs> your nickel. <laughs> my nickel. I got it off. So why do. Why do fools fall in love? No. That's a song. Why do birds suddenly appear? There are new songs. Oh. Why do my hat stop yawning? It was a clue. Oh, why do I yawn so much? Well, why do we yawn? Yes, you got one. Bing! Why do... There's a lot about dogs and cats. Why do dogs bark? Why do dogs howl? Yeah. Why do cats purr? Yep. Why do cats stretch their claws? No. Why do cats meow? No. Why do cats, like, stick their butt in there? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why do cats' tails move? No. Why Stop do, focusing on cats. Why do dogs wag their tail? No. Why do dogs lick their own butts? Oh, you were close. Why do dogs lick their no. noses? Why do dogs... Why was I close? Oh, why do dogs lick people? <laughs> yeah. She so just licked me. <laughs> it was a clue. Our cats lick us. Yeah, that's not a thing. Um... <laughs> why do I eat mantle? No. <laughs> I'm still thinking of dogs. Why, why do dogs chew things? No. Why do dogs like eat everything? The, no, but like in the, in the garden and they go, oh, nom 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 nom. Oh, why nom. do dogs eat grass? Yeah. Because they're lawnmowers. Also, why do cats eat grass? Did you research any of the answers? No. Oh. Definitely should have. I can't get this ring back on. There's two more, but I don't think you'll get them because they're not to do with cats or dogs. Well, one is semi to do with cats, but not really. Why do lions? No, are they it's not about animals. animals. No. Why is it about space? No. 
Why do I? Why do I smell? No. Why do I like to sniff my armpits? <laughs> Why do I sweat so much? Yeah, exact words too. I really don't think you're going to get the first one. But well, it is the something first like... one, and that's the top answer. That's something everybody searches. Yeah. Surely. Um, I think people have searched this on uh, the day after Pancake Tuesday. Why do I have to do Lent? No. Why do people get ashes? Yeah, why do Catholics get ashes is the top Google. Do you want another one? Yeah. What would happen if... The moon crashed into Earth? Uh, I think there was one about the moon. Hold up. Oh, no, there's none about the moon. Oh, wait, no. What did you say if the moon if crashed the moon into crashed Earth? Into oh, Earth. no, that's not it. If the moon exploded? No. If the moon went out of orbit? No. If the moon... No. If a volcano exploded. That's close. If a super volcano exploded. Well, yeah, what would happen if Yellowstone exploded? Yeah. Um, what would happen if there was a nuclear war? No. What would happen if I stuffed two pencils up my no. nose? <laughs> They're much bigger. Oh, well, no, there's one that's like on a personal level and then the rest of them are sort of on a global scale. What would happen if there was a big mass of earthquake? No. What would happen if all the electricity went off? What would happen? That's not here, but I am starting to wonder about it now. What would happen if the sun went out for like a second? Yeah, what would happen if there was no sun? Ah, what would happen if all the ice caps melted? No. Think about the one that you just said about the sun and, and, and put the moon in there. What would happen if there was no moon? Yeah. Moon. 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 Um, what would happen if everybody had superpowers? Bow. I think what would happen if the sun died is the same as what would happen if there was no sun. Well, no, because the sun, if there was no sun, then there would never be a sun. So that means we'd be just used to, like, no sun. And we'd be like, hey, what would happen if there was, like, a big Whereas storm? if the sun died, I think we if the would sun, know. Yeah, I think if the sun died, is that we not, like... it. Yeah, but if the sun died, would that not cause a big, massive explosion? Yeah, I think so. Well, there, I just gave you one, so you still um, have one, two, three, four, five to still find. I guess. I mean, I normally do, like, the top four, but... Is, can I get a clue? You can. They're all on a global scale. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like, what would happen they're if the Earth... <laughs> no, they're, they're like, spacey, but they would affect us. Okay, what would happen if a meteor... Yeah, if an a asteroid comet. hit Earth. What would happen if aliens attacked... No. What would happen if the space station fell down? What is everyone worried about? Aliens. No. Donald Trump? They're disappearing. The stars. Oh, the bees. <laughs> <laughs> just, um... I just got too deep into Doctor Who there. <laughs> Chloe was sitting, just sort of looking a wee bit tired, just going, Donald Trump, the stars. And then she just gasped and looked so happy, just, oh, The bees! <laughs> Such joy. <laughs> My name's Chloe with a silent B and I'm terrified of buzzing of up. insects. <laughs> I'm going to start introducing myself like that. <laughs> Hi, I'm Judith with a B and uh, I'm terrified of buzzing insects. Where's the bee? There's a bee! <laughs> I wouldn't even be in the same room. I would have left. I'd have run. <laughs> anyway, do you want to keep guessing or do you want me to tell you the ones that you haven't Just got? Just tell me the ones I've missed. What would happen if you never slept? Oh, uh, you'd die. Uh, what would happen? If, right, okay, I'll read them from bottom to top in order. Okay. Like some, so from lowest to highest. So the last one was, what would happen if the sun died? What would happen if an asteroid hit Earth? What would happen if there were no bees? What would happen if you never slept? What would happen if the Earth stopped spinning? What would happen if there was no sun? What would happen if there was no moon? And what would happen if we nuked the sun? <laughs> <laughs> I was definitely Americans that did that one. <laughs> I have another one if you're keen, but I mean... Okay. Uh, but just, when, we'll just do the top three. Okay. When will? When will the earth end? No, I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna go for. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. When will the earth end? Mm -hmm. will earth die. The, when will the sun die? When will the sun die? When will the moon die? No. When will? Is there people? When will I die? Yeah. When will I die? Oh, uh, so one that's quite. Quite um, topical at the moment, particularly in the UK. When will Brexit happen? When will Brexit happen? 
Never. Do you know what the top one was? What? When will it be sunny again? <laughs> Irish people all over the world typing that. And it, it told me <laughs> it'll be sunny again on Sunday. Oh, oh we know that's in Newcastle. Oh, maybe that's today. Maybe that's right now. It's sunny in Newcastle. If you're in Newcastle and it's sunny on the 18th, 18th of August, it was actually the 18th. Yeah, I'm impressed. I have it on my watch. Did you know we got a, a listener's question? <gasps> we did. Yeah, because I put a tweet out um, as we started recording. I'm really intrigued to know the rest of the Googles, though, for when will. When Can will? you just go through them quickly? Which when will? The last one we did. I did. I did them all. Oh, okay. So the last time... Well, there's like there's eight. songs. There's when will I see you again. I'm, oh, okay. Right. And, but I wasn't doing songs. Right. Where's, where's the listener's question? I now I have to find it again. Les never lets us down. He's here. Thanks, so. Les. Thanks. Um, his question was, why is it that your nose is full of mucus, but your ears are full of music? Because somebody's just a bit dyslexic, Les, okay? Just... <sighs> your throat can be full of mucus too. Your mouth can be full of music. Yeah. But your throat, like, your... Your throat can do both. It can do music and mucus. Mucus. M U C U S. Music. 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 It's not even an anagram. But your ears are full of wax. Yeah. I think it's because if your nose wasn't full of mucus, you'd be sneezing all the time and you can't get music. Like, your nose just wouldn't appreciate music. Is humming not music coming out your nose? Mm, yeah. Because if you hold your nose, you can't, you can't hum. hum. Yeah. Oh, you can. You can for a bit, but not like sustained. You just sound like a wee Nokia phone vibrating. <laughs> <laughs> so you just sound like a wee phone vibrating. Just. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone listening, hold your nose and hum. Great job, Thank guys. You. Thanks for doing that. That's great. <laughs> I like pretending that we get listener participation. <laughs> <laughs> if you do actually participate, can you please let us know? Yeah. At skit underscore twins. That's at squit. At, at skit. <laughs> I'm gone. I'm just... We're doing a lot of walking out in this podcast. <laughs> I think I've left about six times in this podcast. <laughs> Go. Walk out the door. <laughs> Don't turn around now. <laughs> um... What's that song? I'll survive. Sorry. <laughs> I will survive. <laughs> no other listeners' questions? No, no that's it. Do, do you have any questions for me? Chloe. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> When lightning hits the sea, why don't all the fish die? Because it's dispersed across a lot of water. And so, like, the fish only feel like a wee spark. Like what we would get whenever we touch something metal. Like a wee tingle? Yeah. Speaking of, like, getting wee electric shocks, we're, we've been running all week because half marathon and sort of thought we need to do a wee bit of training. We ran but 10k. We were doing, like, running on the treadmill and, I don't know, just, I kept on getting electric shocks off it. It wasn't nice. Probably 10k is a quarter of a marathon, almost. I reckon I could do it. I hurt my knee. But anyway, I kept on getting electric shocks and they properly made me jump. Aww. Like, not like, you know, jump out of the air because, like, I'm getting electrocuted. But it just, it shocked me. Like, as in, surprised me every time. Yeah. And, like, it made me jump. And I was just like, I'm not okay. It wasn't nice. I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for me too, but you know what? It's in the past. You can't change the past, but you can learn from it. Thank you, Rafiki. He's the monkey from The Lion King. I'm all, yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you for clearing that. The minister said that today too, and I was sort of like, you just, you need to, excuse me, quote you, your sources. You need to reference that. <laughs> <laughs> the Lion King 1995. Did the Lion King come out in 1995? I think so, yeah. Are we the same age as The Lion King? I think we Is are. Is The Lion King 24? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> what were you expecting? More questions? Do you have any so questions? are we as old as Simba? <gasps> are we as old as Simba? 
Uh, Can lions like, live that way? I don't know, because like, the Lion King came out and Simba was like an adult. So, But then also the Lion King like 3 and then the Lion King 1.5 or whatever. You're holding my hand, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't. There's a stretchy brace thing. You're making that nip my arm hair. You have a really weird... What the flip is that? That's, that's a big vein it's a in your vein arm. going up my wrist. That's minging. Thanks. Veins are disgusting. <laughs> Only gross people have them. <laughs> um, I know what I was gonna. I have a th- do, you have, do you know what the word podcast means? It's throwing a pod. Cause you cast. Pod. But what's a pod? It's a nice name for a poop. <laughs> Podcasting is just going to the toilet to do number twos. <laughs> monkeys. I'm gonna monkeys. <laughs> I'm gonna do that from now on. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm just going for a wee podcast here. <laughs> no, do we not? But our current one is one. <laughs> the current. The current. I don't want to say euphemism because that makes it sound real gross, but um, our current word for going to do number two is a way to drop the kids off. <laughs> so feel free to use that one. You're a way to drop the kids off. Yeah. Or you're just back from dropping off the kids. Got the kids dropped off. Dad likes to do the paperwork. <laughs> Visit the office. But yeah, okay, right, now we've got a way to do both. <laughs> yep. Do you know the actual answer? Because I actually I searched my answers better, but okay. okay. It what actually it? comes from the Nordic. Oh wait, no, that's that's actually what pod and cast means. A pod is like what peas come in, like a a pea pod. Uh-huh. A pod of a pea. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Three peas in a pod. So you've got you've got peas and pods. Okay. <laughs> my my version of this. Or a pod is also a self-contained area on a ship. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of like the toilet. <laughs> the more I've gone into researching in this, the more I realise you might be right. <laughs> and to cast, oh my word, this is makes it worse, is to throw <laughs> or discard. <laughs> so <clears throat> a podcast could or get be... rid of <laughs> a podcast could potentially be dropping the kids off or it could just mean generally flushing the toilet because you're you're casting the pod <laughs> the actual... <laughs> oh, this is probably the best thing I've ever come up with <laughs> the actual <clears throat> The actual word podcast comes from combining iPod, not a sponsor, and broadcast. Podcast. I mean, that one makes sense. <laughs> but breaking it down did us no favours. It did not. If a word is made up of two words, your best bet is just not to separate the two and Google each individual. <laughs> Is that what you did? I did. I was like, yeah, podcast is copy made up of two words. So let's search pod and let's search cast. I did, of course. I for- and then I was like, we'll just search what, what, what is a podcast? And then and then I searched the individual things because I was like, I wonder, does it? It didn't. But what? Um, I can't remember what I was going to say now. Cast. Uh, cast on your arm. Yeah, I know, but that's not like a noun. Oh, okay, so it just verb, depends if it's a whatever. verb or... I don't know the difference. A noun, a noun is, is a naming, naming word. A verb is a doing word. An adjective is a describing word. So running is a verb. What's an adverb? That's an adjective verb. <laughs> so what does that mean? <laughs> like, quickly. Ah, oh, okay. What's a pronoun? Oh, that's like, like name. Me, you, me, you he, they. she. Yeah. So there's pronoun, adverb... I'm sure there's another version of... There's a proverb. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fair. <laughs> well, it's, it's... A pro... Proverb. Yeah, it's like a... Positive, positive way of living. Yeah. Like, take a positive, picture of the sun. A positive doing. Right? 
prov, pro, proverb, proverb, because verb's a doom word, right? So, yeah. So positive doom. There's also psalms. <laughs> you know, you're just no, no, I'm just making up words. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to be reading from the book of Jeremiah. <laughs> this guy is blaspheming. <laughs> no, but you ever do that? People pronounce words differently in the Bible that you're used to, and you're just like, he said what? I have. Who's Solomon? <laughs> I call him Solomon. I'm calling him Solomon. <laughs> I have like you know the way you like you're like <laughs> so <long. laughs> this is coming <laughs> This okay. podcast has just gone down you know? Anyway, sorry, let's move on from so long. <laughs> Saw the moon. Um, I've I've like found myself in church, like sort of like looking at the book or whatever, and then like they pronounce a word differently, and you know the way you just whip your head around. Like, what? <laughs> I've done. You talking about? Because it was like I always pronounced it like Hezekiah, and it was like Hez Hezkai or something, and I was like, what? <laughs> Are you talking about? I was fully reading this going Hezekiah. And then I was waiting for it, and it's just his kai. It's like, huh? And I was just sitting there going, Why is this word pronounced? And they're like, Philemon. And it's like, That does not there look are, like that word. There are not enough letters to say that. <laughs> I don't even think it wasn't Hezekiah, it was something else. Um, I can't remember. It was a word, and I was like, That's not how I have pronounced it. It was someone pronouncing Nebuchadnezzar, and he pronounced it like every single syllable. Made it like seven syllables long, and I was like, "No, how do you pronounce, how do you make Nebuchadnezzar seven? Neb, you did it, Nebuchadnezzar, <laughs> Nebuchadnezzar. <laughs> yeah, I just call him Neb, Nebby, <laughs> my man. <laughs> Why couldn't we just just do that at the start? So King Nebuchadnezzar, and then in brackets, known as his friends as Neb. <laughs> it's like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, Rock Shocking Benny, <laughs> Rock Shocking Benny." It's my favourite book. This is my favourite story in the Bible just because I like to call them Rock, Shack and Benny. Thanks, Rev Keith. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, that's our biblical time over. <laughs> so <Soul> moment. <laughs> I'm a gimp. <laughs> Don't call other people that. That's really rude. It's not very nice. It's not, no. You're not. You shouldn't call yourself that i'm do I? sorry self for calling myself a gimp good i forgive you that's i'm proud you're welcome <laughs> that was a great uh final podcast sponsor is um conversations with yourself because sometimes you just need to show some self-love have a wee conversation with yourself yeah. and just tell yourself that you love yourself and just say it out loud i love you self Love yourself. Someone says it back, you need to run. <laughs> uh, this podcast has been very giggly and I'm sorry. I hope you've got a giggle out of it too. It's just got a giggle at the end. Giggly. Giggly. Giggly, giggly. <laughs> I'm just going to have one last wee check to see if we have any other questions. I don't think we do. Oh, that's real sad. Well, we've been going for 53 minutes. No, I just made us feel sad that we didn't get any more questions. Oh, uh, right, okay. Not that it's feel sad that we've only been going for like 53 minutes, because that's a decent length for a podcast. I got a Snapchat, but... You um, got a snap? Who's it from? Was it crook? It's from our pal, Anthony, and it's just a wee streaks one. Hey, Anthony! Um, streaks. I think she's wearing pyjamas and honestly cool, so I wish I was wearing pyjamas. I want to wear pyjamas. I'm on Hold up, I'm gonna ask Anthony if she's wearing pajamas. Just ask her on video one and get a live response. Oh, okay, okay. I'm just gonna turn this way. What's up? 
Oh, you're not recording? We're, I am. Oh, you're recording. We're, we're doing a podcast. We're doing a podcast, right? You're going to be on the podcast. Live. You're our friend. Because um, this um, is the recording thing. Um, that's my face. Are you wearing pajamas? Are you wearing pajamas or are you not wearing clothes? This is weird. I've just realised how weird of a question. <laughs> <laughs> you don't what have you to. What you wearing? <laughs> you don't have to answer. <laughs> I do that all the time. The way I ask questions, and I'm like, if that was anyone else, they would think I'm a freak. <laughs> hey, just what you wearing today? Mm. Well. Well, it's like what we said the last time. If you say it in a whisper, it sounds creepier. What are you wearing today? <laughs> that sounds even creepier when I've used it a half say. <laughs> what are you You need to be more careful about what you're doing. I like you. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie, if it was a child's voice, that would be really cute. <laughs> You're my friend. We kids are cute. So anyway, we? David Haywood, he went the whole way around the world, like the actual Earth. Yeah. Like round it. Yep. From A to B. Well, A back to A. <laughs> wow. It's quite impressive, isn't it? Did he actually go the whole way around, though? What do you mean? Like, did he do a straight line round it? Well, no, you can't do it. It'd have to be a curved line. But, like, did he do the actual diameter of the Earth? I think uh, so. But many, he went... Did he go to Australia? I don't know. Do you know how many countries he went through? Not a clue. Uh, I only picked up on it... Like, February, like March February, time. March time. So we'd already done... I think it was, I think it was like 344 days or something really? that he, he did, but... Yeah, in total, not like... Because he started on like the something of September yeah. 2018. Yeah. He missed Christmas. Well, to be fair, he took like a day off because it was his brother's wedding or something. So he had to like... I think he maybe... I don't Did know. Did he time I, it maybe? I don't know. There? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I don't know if he timed it so he would like arrive in the place for his brother's wedding or if he like... Flew out, flew out and then back. But I mean, have a look at his his stories. Um, his like mem, what are they called? Highlights. Highlights. Um, yeah, because they're they're really good, and he's he's a top guy. And I've never met him or spoken to him. It's just a bit creepy that I am saying that. So there you go. It's just just a wee bit of a stalker. Has I am they replied? No. Do um, we have a Northern Irish phrase of the week? No. But mucker. I I mucker. Mucker all day. What's mucker mean? It's just friend, mate, Egypt, person. Just person. Pal. Person. Person. Pal. It's I'm like a pal. pro it's like a pronoun. I'm glad that I've learned what pronouns are. We've all learned things today. We're all being educated. We are being educated. Um This is gonna be really awkward if we don't get a response. I know, I'm trying to sort of has she opened it yet? No. Um, oh, no. However, I do have a video of something that Chloe did yesterday and I thought it was funny. So when we came back from Italy and she had a bag and Chloe Chloe fitted into the bag. I will tweet this video on the Skit Twins Twitter, but... This bag is so big it can put three quarters of a Chloe inside. With room to spare. Now let's dissect that. <laughs> It was a big bag and I could nearly fit my whole self in it. I thought it was particularly cute the way Chloe went. With room to spare. <laughs> this really nice smelling bag too. Smelled like spices. Like spi- what kind of spices? Like S just specifically. Spices. Spices. Like, typically. I don't know, like cumin and... Which one's the one that's supposed to cure you of... Is that turmeric? Turmeric. Why? Or turmeric. Turmeric. Americans say that because they metric system. What? I don't know. I don't know either. I don't think we're going to get a response here. But uh, um, you'll have to tune in next time. We'll forget next time. But, but um, thank you very much for listening. You've been great. Um, so I've been, I've been me. You've been you. We've been us. I don't know how else to end that, but um, take care. Be good. If you could be I anything, like be kind. I feel like we've cut, gone. We went on a real high there. And we're, no, we're really just giggling. Kind of like... Now we're just a wee bit like. <laughs> so oh. moment says bye. <laughs> so moment. 
It reminds me of Hans. No, is it Hans Molman from The Simpsons? Yeah. Yeah. Saul Molman. Oh, dear. Oh, I can't do his voice. It's got a very specific voice and it's cool. But anyway, um, yeah, thanks for listening. Give us a wee tweet of where you're listening from, if you like our podcast. And if, if you, you join in and do audience participation. Yeah. And send us videos of the things that we asked you to send. But you're going to have to rewind back because I can't remember. I'm going to need to start writing this down. You should write it down and then put it in the show notes. Yeah, ah, show notes. Mm-hmm. Aren't we? Mm-hmm. Aren't we mm-hmm. posh? Oh my god. You know what everybody should do, right? I want you to laugh, but I want you to poke your front teeth over, like, your bottom teeth. So, so your your top You're jaw basically giving is... yourself, like, a really big overbite. Uh-huh. So your front teeth are sticking out. Yeah. Right, shall we take a video and show people how to do it? Yeah. We're going to do lots of videos this week. Okay, we ready? So, so your front teeth come out over your, your bottom lip. Hold on, I need to, we need to take a step back so we're both in it. Okay. And then you go, and then you go. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you do the hoity toity laugh. Hoity toity. Hoity toity. Hoity toity. Hoity toity. So yeah, be good. Do the hoity toity laugh um, and turn yourself around. Um, remember to drop off the kids. Uh, <laughs> or do a podcast <laughs> um, we will talk to you next, next time. time oh we hit an hour